I like to use headings. I know what main ideas are. I know specifics. Yeah. I know a mm -hmm. lot of different things. My students don't do the same thing. Then they look at their notes and they're lost. And then they ask me, hey, so why did you write that? Because I'm like, well, she did say the three hypotheses at the beginning. Right. And so at the beginning of conversations, there's always a just purpose question. OK, a just purpose question is, why did the student go talk to the professor? Why did the student go talk to the professor? Or what is the talk mainly about? And so mm -hmm. it's that initial when the employee or professor or teacher asks the student, hey, how can I help you? And the student says, oh, I just want to know about my paper. Sometimes it's not that easy, though. It's a lot more difficult at times, okay? So what we're going to do for the first round, you're going to watch me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are going to watch me do a little, uh, just a little bit of a practicar. And then we're going to go from there, okay? And then yeah, perfect. Are, and then you are going to start taking notes, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So here we go. Let me grab this one. I don't even know what this one's about. Uh, no, nah, man. Did I do this one before? Oh, okay. This might be good. I just hate doing the same ones. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me just hurry up and check real quick. All right. We are good to go. All right. Three, two, and one. Oh, no. I want to get this off my screen. Get this off my screen. Uh, three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Motherfucker, it's not working. Hold on. I got to reload it again. <laughs> Motherfuckers. This one ain't even working. Oh, my God. Let me go to another one. That one's not working. Holy Lord. Listen to a conversation between a student and a financial aid official. Hi, can I help you? Yes. Um, I'd like to get help with the, uh, you know, payment for my classes. Uh, some sort of financial aid. The, the problem is I don't know much about it, so I don't really know where to begin. I saw this poster about work-study programs. Can you tell me something about that? Well, I, I think you're talking about the government-sponsored work-study program. It works like this. You work on campus and get paid an hourly wage, just like a regular job. However, instead of getting a paycheck, the money goes directly to your bill for your courses. But almost all work-study jobs pay minimum wage, which is usually pretty low. The truth is you might do better getting a job off campus since you can do whatever you want with the money like paying your rent or, or buying textbooks thanks that's very useful so how do i find out what's out there let me show you our catalog of various programs as well as scholarships offered here that's your best bet really if you can find a good scholarship because you don't have to pay the money back you might qualify if your grades are good enough or if you have the right background yeah that sounds like something i should try for now, this is my desk copy of the catalog, but I can give you your own copy if you want. Oh, yeah, be sure to visit the university library, too. There is a whole section on financial aid, including application forms. Why isn't all the information listed in the catalog? It'd be so much easier. Oh, if we did that, the catalog would be too heavy to pick up. <laughs> Civic clubs, foundations, organizations from all over the country offer scholarships or other financial assistance to college students. And all kinds of companies have programs to help their employees' children go to college. If either of your parents works for a large corporation, have them check to see if their companies do that. Okay, good idea. Hey, my dad works for a big accounting firm, and he's a member of a professional accounting organization. Do you think they'd offer financial aid? Yes, that's fairly common, especially if you were planning to go into accounting. What are you studying? What do you plan to do after you graduate? I want to become a dentist. I'm enrolled in the pre-med program for dentistry. <laughs> okay, so I'd suggest looking in the library for information on organizations that have to do with dentistry. Any number of them might offer scholarships to students planning to join their profession. I'll definitely investigate that one. Great, but be sure to talk to one of our librarians, too. They get the same questions over and over, so they can save you a great deal of time. Oh, my God. First and foremost, scholarships are, I don't know about you. I don't know if you've ever gotten a scholarship. I don't know if anyone no. else you know has gotten a scholarship. But, man, for me, every time I apply for a scholarship, man, nothing. 
And I'm like, yeah, this seems like there are billions of dollars with these fu- worth these motherfucking scholarships out there, and I can't even get one. Who are you got? And so I just feel like scholarships are bullshit. But I used to do work study, but my money never went to my to you know my financial aid, which was weird. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of weird. Yeah, I got that money. Yeah. So, anyways, so I know a lot about this. I have a lot of experience about this. So this is going to be um, really easy. But you, with my notes you are going to look at some of these questions so the first question is always why did the student go or what is the lecture mainly about there we go what are they discussing what are the what is it what are the speakers obviously the student and the professor mainly discussing procedures for applying for different types of scholarships Now, remember, scholarship wasn't mentioned until midway through the audio, probably around one minute and 15 seconds. I don't think that's what they were mainly discussing. If we look at B, it says where the man must go to submit his financial aid application. Well, Mm -hmm. to be honest with you, that would have happened in probably the first 10 seconds, but that's not what they were mainly discussing, right? Mm -hmm. C, how students could get help paying their tuition. A little ambiguous, meaning that's a little open to interpretation, a little bit weird. Or various organizations that offer work-study programs. So we're between C and D. D. Various organizations. So do you like C? Yeah, D. You like D? Okay, Mm -hmm. let's check. C. Ah. And that's what I was a little bit worried about, because if we look at they need help paying their tuition, right? Guess what? He said at the very beginning he needed help. Now, it's really weird because he's oh. students as in plural. But he said, but it does. It says students as in plural. So it's a little bit weird how students could get help paying their tuition. I understand government sponsor, work study, scholarships uh getting a a, what is it a company sponsored grant such as a dent uh, an accounting firm or a dental office to get them so a lot of that has to deal with money 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 helping students but that should have been rephrased saying how he can get help paying his tuition that's what c should say not students in general that's stupid as fuck there are no students in general there's one student so anyways you understand yeah but the keyword was like help oh very good okay ding 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 you got that Mm -hmm. aha moment all right so now you're like hmm arsenio so you wrote down help and then the answer was help is that always to you know the point no but when it comes to different lectures and especially reading that happens a lot, but it it could also be distractors. So that's going to be things that we're going to be talking about as time goes on, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's go into the next one. What is the woman's opinion of the work-study program? Well, she kind of said, oh, but they pay minimum wage, so you would be better off getting a job off campus. See, I remember that right here. Now, if you want to see it, it's right here. This is what I wrote down. This is why notes are crucial. Sometimes you can't always believe your recollection. (laughs) You can't always believe your recollection, right? And so looking at this, you're like, ah, all right, this is a little bit better. So by looking at this one, let's go to the answers. A, it does not provide as much financial flexibility as a regular job does. Or B, it is more difficult to apply. I did not write anything down in regards to it being difficult, so I would quickly eliminate it. How about C? It should offer more jobs that would appeal to dental students. Dental was not mentioned until the very end, so that is absolutely not. And then D, it should allow students to choose where they want to work. I did not write down any locations. So what would the answer be? Sandra. A. Fantastico. You got your first one right? Here we go. All right, Sandra. Welcome to TOEFL. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. You got pop your color. Okay. 
So here we go. Let's go into the another one or the next one. Why does the woman mention clubs, foundations? I couldn't write them all down. Okay. But I remember, aha, I did write down quite a few of them. So you're going to look at the question before this line. Why isn't the info listed in the category is what the student mm -hmm. asked. And the woman said, oh, it would be a very big catalog with foundations, yes. clubs, it's got... So it's good to always look at your notes before that. Anytime you see why does the woman mention, it's called a rhetorical purpose question. Normally you see this in reading, but you do see this in listening too. You're going to go to your line above and remember, you got to write down the questions that are asked within these conversations, okay? Always okay. write down the Question. questions that are asked by the student, always, because that's going to give you a lot of gui guidance, okay? You can either write S as in student or Q as in question. Normally I write Q for lectures because it's very easy to navigate my notes when I write Q, or I just write S and then here you see how to find out. You see what I mean? And so it's very yeah. easy for me to check and see exactly where these questions are. So let's go over to the notes. I mean, the answers to suggest organizations. Uh-uh. She's not suggesting. To give some examples of organizations that offer scholarships. To explain why some scholarships are very competitive. I didn't write that down. To point out that it is appropriate to use scholarship money for multiple sources that has nothing to do with it. No. B. I think B would be the best answer. Correcto. Let's go. Yeah. All right, Sandra. You see this? Now, yeah. going back to my notes, are you going to be able to write everything I wrote? Nope. You're only going to be able to write a fraction of that. <laughs> okay. And so please do not have like, I don't want you to say, oh, my God, yeah, I'm going to be able to write it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit tough trying to write everything, okay? You are going to have to figure out your perfect balance, like I said. So let's go to question number four. Why does the woman ask about the student's career plans? Well, it came after okay. my dad works for an accounting firm. And then she's like, what do you want to be? A dentist. Oh, you should look for organizations that are involved in dentistry. Boom. A, she might be able to help him find a job related to the profession he is pursuing. It's kind of weird that it says she. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised that that's the answer because TOEFL is a piece of uh -huh. B. Some scholarships are connected to particular fields of study. I like that one more than I like A. Yeah. Could be. C, he cannot receive bullshit. D, she wants to find out which campus library is best equipped to help him. Absolutely not. So we're between A and B. I kind of like B more than I like A. She can help him find a job? Or scholarships are connected no, to B. Areas. I kind of like B. And if it's A... China could kiss my ass. Thank you. All right. B is the answer. Because All right. She, because... said, she said some that someone at the library, uh, yeah, someone, no, not she, but someone at the library mm -hmm. have more experience. So for the reason I don't think she's going to help him uh, find a job, but maybe the people at the library that she was talking about can help. I don't know. That's right. That's right. I, 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 again, she might be able to help him. Like, she ain't going to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to say, hey, go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Are you going to help me? Fuck no. You go over there, they'll help you. You see what yeah. I mean? So that's all. I'm like, she ain't going to do shit. All right. So anyways, number five, why does the woman here go? A lot of rhetorical purpose. Why does the woman suggest that the student speak to a university librarian? I remember at the very end, however, I did not write it down. You can save time. Mm -hmm. It will save you a lot of time. 
So A, a librarian might have more time to help the student than she does. That's weird. B, librarians work hard to maintain a complete listing. Librarians are trained to help students to fill out a variety of applications. Or a librarian could help the student find the information he is looking for more quickly. I am between A and D. Okay. All right. Now, if you're between A and D, I want you to look in both of those answers, rub your chin and say, is there a keyword that I do not like in any of those answers? Or is there a keyword that I wrote down, although you didn't just yet, but I wrote down that links to one of those answers? We're looking at both sides of the coin. Oh, no. I think it's C. Ah, uh, D. D? Oh, my God. C? Librarians are trained? Who said they were trained? Fill out applications? That is a very bad keyword. I eliminated C very quickly because they ain't going to help you fill out anything. I did not write down, oh, yeah, that librarian, she will help you fill out everything. As if she doesn't um, have any time to do anything else, she'll help you. You see what I mean? So that's why I'm like, oh, okay. hell no, she's terrible. Uh -huh. Okay. Is that difficult? Let me hurry up and just write these down. Okay. Okay, there it is. Now, C, you were between A and D, but then you went to C. What happened? Uh, because, I don't know, what like, librarians are trained to help students. It was more like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, that word like, that are trained, like, like I, I uh, joined that with, um, with like they uh, the librarians can I mean that that other people can be uh, can know more right in knowing more yeah okay but remember what I mm -hmm. said that librarians will help him save a lot of time D says more quickly He's looking for more okay so I remember that. I remember remember that at the very end. So, 